Hello everybody, how are you doing today? It's a new day, it's a fresh day. I hope you're up shaking and baking. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel already, what are you waiting for? So smash that subscribe button and let's go. Today, let's go back to the fundamentals and define what sales really is. Because your definition of a word will change your relationship with that word. So what is sales? In my own opinion, sales is the process of persuading a person with reason and evidence that what you have to offer to them, your product or your service, is of more value to them than the money or the price of the product or that service. Sales is a process of persuading a person with reason and evidence that your product or your service has more value to them or what they will gain has more value to them than the money that they have in their pocket. The only time people buy is when they perceive that the value or the gain of using the product or service outweighs the money that they are paying in exchange for the product or for the service. When they don't see that, it becomes very difficult for sales to take place. Now, this is where you work as a lawyer. But before you do that, you must even understand yourself. What is the value of my product or my service? What problem does it solve? What value does it add? What does it, what bad thing or what inconvenience does your product or your service eliminate from the life of a customer? Write down those things down. When you understand that, you will now realize that this is what your customers are buying. They are not buying the physicalness of your product, if you sell a physical product. They are not buying a pencil. They are buying the capacity to write or draw smoothly. That's what they are buying. When you understand that, what you sell is the result and not the object that produces the result. Now, both of them are important because the object that produces the result should be good, should look nice. But essentially, what the customer is buying is not necessarily the object, but the results that the person will get as a result of buying the product and the service. That is value. To sweeten this more, make your customer feel as if they are cheating you. How do you do this? You stack up the value. So let's say, for example, they buy a body cream from you. You now tell them that in addition to buying this body cream, I just recorded a video and a PDF on how to apply this cream on your body four times a week, twice a day. All right? In addition to that, we will deliver the product to you if you live in the same city with us free of charge. And what you are doing is that you know the value, now you are raising the value up. So the customer feels as if, oh, I paid this little, but I got so much more. Once you understand this principle, it becomes a lot easier to close a sale. Somebody called me the other day, yes, yesterday, for a sales training for a group of people. I didn't change my price. I told the person, in addition to the price, I will put your staff in a three days WhatsApp group free of charge where I will continue teaching them for three days after the training I'm about to do for them. Here's what this person said. Sounds interesting. So the price did not change, but the value that I added, perceived value in our, in our, in our head increased. And that is how I close that sale. That is how to sell. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. 
share it with your friends and family members read in the comment section if there's any product or service that i have there that interests you patronize us get one of them have a fantastic day i'll see you sometime this week for another video god bless you my name is paul Fo. you can follow me on instagram i'm very active there on instagram and on twitter god bless you have a great day boom